We don't get many visitors from the Department of Education. Well, if you can teach the criminally insane, you can teach anyone. When that boom operator chopped off Renfield's arm, he lost a lot of blood. So much so, he went brain dead three times on the operating table. He now suffers from a rare condition called acute borderline hypercerebral dysplasia. It's destroyed his ability to tell where he stops and where the horrific machinations of his deranged psyche begin. And you give him needles. Needlepoint can be a valuable tool for the relief of stress. Talk to him all you like. Thank you, Dr. Judd. Sir, time is of the essence, so I'll skip the pleasantries. Little Vladdy, the puppet that sent you here, has come back to life. We believe you might know where we can find him. Hey, look here, buddy. It's okay, Wendy. What are you doing? Mm, there's only one way to speak to an insane ventriloquist. <clears throat> Where has little Vladdy gone? Elizabeth Rousset. Elizabeth Rousset? His heart will guide him to her. Who is she? The Vampire Queen. Vlad the Impaler married her on the Witch's Sabbath, 1459. But a mob of villagers scaled the castle walls and murdered the lovers with crude farming implements. Vlad and Elizabeth's blood spilled onto their two favorite puppets, Vladdy and Lizzie. Exact replicas of themselves, their souls were damned into the wood for all time. Unless... Unless what? <sighs> Unless what? If Vladdy and Lizzie remarry on the arms of two people who share true love, they will regain the form of flesh and blood and create an undead army that will plunge Earth into an eternal night of blood! <laughs> Vladdy's looking for a puppet named Lizzie, and he's got a huge head start. We need to find her yesterday. Start by cross-referencing the name Lizzie with Vlad the Impaler.